everyone, Happy New Year. I'm happy to see in our first issue of the California Dental Association, uh, January, that the EPA finally decides that amalgam separators are needed in dental offices. What are amalgams? For those of you that look in your mouth and you see a dark gray silver filling, it means that you might have mercury in your mouth. Those amalgam fillings are 50% mercury. So what our amalgam separators do? Actually, they, when we remove these mercury uh, toxins, uh, they catch them and prevent them from going into the environment. What took the EPA so long for this rule to actually come into play? All dentists, just as human beings, should be conscious of the environment and the amount of mercury, which is really tons of mercury that are going into the streams, um, infecting the fish and the wildlife out there. And then what happens? We eat the fish, so the mercury really ends up back in our own body. And what is the problem with mercury? Mercury is a neurotoxin. The EPA does not allow any vapor of mercury to be released in the environment. That's how toxic it really is. And what happens um, when we have mercury fillings, and even myself, I actually had 16 mercury fillings from Romania. And uh, I wasn't feeling well. I was fatigued, you know, I was tired, I was uh, irritable. And once I had these filling removed, I actually felt so much better. And that was my own experience. But studies have been shown, and we have numerous studies to show how toxic mercury is. And once people had the fillings removed, that they felt better, their chronic fatigue went away, uh, their nervousness went away. Um, maybe even improved kidney function. And we know that mercury also destroys kidney function from the animal studies that we have. So why in the world would you want to have amalgam fillings in your mouth in today's day and age when we have such better choices? However, you must go to the right dentist to have this kind of filling removed. And the reason is when we actually cut into the silver filling or mercury filling, there's a lot of vapor being released. And if you actually were to measure it, which a lot of people did, at the time that this mercury is being drilled out, there is over a thousand percent the allowed level of mercury into the air as this filling is being drilled. Now, a biological dentist knows how to do this correctly when they remove the filling so this vapor doesn't get inhaled into you or into the staff in the dental office or anybody else who happens to be walking around there. So make sure you check with your dentist to make sure they do safe removal of these mercury fillings. And then they have an amalgamator. You shouldn't have to put all this mercury back into the environment. We should displace of it safely. If you have any other questions, a great source of referrals is IAOMT org and association which has been fighting to show how toxic mercury is and it shouldn't be placed in people's mouths today if you have any questions feel free to tweet me at dr sanda and i'll see you next time